to be. Here's Smooth, defended by Hayward. Wide open. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Smooth. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. Hardaway against Richardson. Hardaway kicks to Favors. It's rebounded by Memphis. Inside. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. He always knows where his teammate's going to be. And, Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. The Jazz making a switch here. Mullins has checked in. And Memphis also making a switch. Martin's checked in. One kick hits to Hood. Favors with the screen. And there's the feed to land. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Richardson the pass to beat. Shoots from the corner and right on target. Good. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Mullins dishes the land. Here's Hood. Inside, it's deflected. Fast break Memphis, and here they go. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Hayward. No, oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Just a whisker away from coming up with the steal there. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. B, the pass to Richardson. That's good from Richardson. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Favors with the screen. Mullins kicks to Favors. Hayward on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Martin. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. B the pass to B. Here's B. Jazz leading by seven. Here's Hood. Hayward outside. He dishes it to Favors. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Derek Favors has been all sorts of trouble for him. He has 17 points and a pair of blocks to go along with those. And he's been standing tall when they needed him. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Feeds it to Richardson. Rebounded by Hood. Trailing here in the game, you can look at his performance as a direct indicator of why they're losing. Mullins kicks to Hood. Cans the shot from the wing. Memphis has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. To the left side wing. Out in the screen. Passes to B. Fires for three. And Derek Favors pulls it down. Favors got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Mullins. Richardson cover. Inside. Here's Favors. An easy layup after coming off the pit. And it's a 12-point Utah lead. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Memphis moving it around. And it's Martin missing. Utah has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. One kick kicks to Hayward. Off the mark there with the three-point shot.
Grizzlies trail by 12. Floor guarded by Lynn. It's Richardson on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And it's Martin missing. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Favors with the screen. Hayward on the wing. Off the pick. And Utah again with the bucket. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Richardson the pass to B. Here's B. Bangs home the trifecta. They're simply living and dying from behind the arc in this second half. And um, I don't think that's the way to go here. They're trailing. The three-point shot can be used, but they've got to balance it out. Favors sets the pick for Hayward. He kicks to Favors. 11 feet away. Grizzlies with the rebound. B's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Flory. He gets Flory. it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. No hesitation at all right there. Just right up against a much bigger defender. Man, and I love that fearlessness, that aggressive attitude. Boy, I love watching guys play with that kind of abandon and freedom, Greg. It's a beautiful thing, man. Favors. Again, Favors missing. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with Ribbon. Has to be to the right side. B, defended by Hayward, kicks it out to Richardson. Tipped away. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this fourth. And the first one at the line is good. Hayward hits them both. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Here's Richardson. Right wing. The pass to B. Martin the screen. Uncovered. And right through it goes. 14 points for B. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Favors with a screen on Richardson. Kicks it to land. The shot is off. And Memphis the other way now. And here we go. The Grizzlies on a fast break. Left side, Martin. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Martin. Assist from. Here's Mullins. Favors with a screen on Richardson. Mullins kicks to Favors. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Grizzlies. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. There's been an attack mode on the defensive end. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Lana screen. Favors at the elbow. Shoots off the screen. No luck. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Some firepower, Clark, from this offense. Yeah, Kevin, how about the air and confidence? I mean, they yeah. really look like they believe in what they're doing. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Yeah, too many easy buckets coming from inside, and I think he wants to make that a point of emphasis. I would certainly think so. I mean, if they keep giving up those kinds of easy looks inside, they'll be in big trouble. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yeah, during that break, the head coach of the Jazz had some words for his team. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. Thank you, Doris. And, and while they still have the lead, boy, was that important to keep it from shrinking. Greg, they might have the lead, but what they don't have is the momentum right now. So that was a big basket for them. That one is off. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. 
Usually free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. Mullins kicks to Hayward. He feeds it to Land. The dish to Mullins. Five on the clock. It's rebounded by Memphis. Pass to B. B is covered by Favors. Pass to B. Martin with a screen on Hayward. Back to Martin. The pass to B. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Alex Lutton picks one up. How about that game for B? He's got 10 rebounds now and three great steals. He's piling up the rejection to go along with the tremendous work he's done on the glass. It's been about the paint and the way he's been able to control it all game long. And really just a great rhythm at the line, whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Hayward outside. Pass to Mullins. Again, Mullins missing. Memphis has gone a disappointing two of six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Some nice passing there by Memphis. That ties the game. 14 points for B. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Here's Hayward. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. Yeah, that, that's careless defense, though. I mean, he's one player you can ill afford to let run free. He just loves to be a money player in the fourth quarter. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making it up for lost time. He knocks down the clutch free throw. Just what the doctor prescribed. The hoop and the horn, and he makes good on the free throw. 50 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Trying to find Land. Gets it to him. Here's Mullins. Connects. Oh, that's the shot of the game. Well, he was fearless enough to get it up and down, and it paid off for him. Floor. Ended by Hayward. Here's Floyd. Martin inside. Working on favors. Here's Flory. Passes to B. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Good! Kevin, that was so clutch. Now they really need a defensive stand. And the Jazz call time here. They're down by one. There's 10 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And, and really no need to rush. Still plenty of time to get a good look. Well, if they've got a play that they use to get a quality shot, this is the time to run. Out to Hayward. Fires the three. Count it! Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're losing by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? They simply need a basket here, Kevin. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket and try to get something in the paint. Here's Flory, right between the eyes. So a close game sees Memphis take this one.
This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg, a, a huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And